Johnny Armstrong is next. Make some noise for Johnny Armstrong! Start the clock. So here I am, the evening's eye candy. I know what you're thinking. My head's on upside down. I started, started growing this beard to cover my double chin. I'm keeping growing it to cover this bad boy now, yeah. <laughs> Grow it some more to cover your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I used to get my cock out on stage. Uh, I stopped doing it because no one noticed. <laughs> I'm joking, I, I still get it out. Uh, I've got it out now. You looked. So I'm a bit of a ladies man. Uh, I used to be a lady boy, but I grew up. I thought recently I'd lost some weight because my boxer shorts were loose, and I realised the elastic had snapped. <laughs> so I was at the doctor's the other day because I wasn't feeling very well, and the doctor examined me, and now he's not feeling very well. <laughs> I found out at the doctor's that I'm overweight, ugly, and a bad lover. And that was just in the waiting room. <laughs> I tell you, it's the last time I read Cosmopolitan. Doctor told me to come in, sit down. No, not on my lap. <laughs> he said, he said to me, if you don't stop drinking, you're gonna die. I said, why is that? He said, because that's my pint. <laughs> he said, drop your trousers. I said, can't we just cuddle first? <laughs> he said, drop your trousers. I said, you first. <laughs> he said, drop your trousers. I said, I'm not that easy. I want to be conquered. He lit some candles and put on a Barry White album. <laughs> I dropped my trousers straight away. Everyone's got their price. So he grabbed my balls and he tell, tells me to cough. I thought, this guy's crazy. I better do what he says. And he found a lump on my left testicle. He, uh, he said, cancer. I said, wrong, Leo. <laughs> He ran some tests, and now he thinks the lump on my left testicle could be my right testicle. <laughs> so I've got a girlfriend. Sorry, ladies. Uh, my girlfriend and I, we've been together for three years. She's never seen me without a beard and vice versa. <laughs> She's got breasts like icebergs. Nine-tenths lie beneath the surface. She's flat-chested, and that's perfect for me, because I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> it's what's inside that counts, and I needed a new kidney, so... <laughs> I remember when we met, she said, have you got children? I said, I could get you some. <laughs> How old do they have to be? <laughs> I said, if we were to have a kid, what would you call it? She said, a mistake. I remember we were making love that first time and she stuck a pinky up my bottom and then I realised that she's more into me than I'm into her. <laughs> We've got a son now. He's not mine. He's not hers either. We don't know whose he is, actually. <laughs> my girlfriend found him in a park, but <laughs> he's a lovely boy. I say, boy, he was 30 when we met him. <laughs> I mean, we don't have a cot at home, so I'm sleeping on the sofa now while he sleeps with mummy. <laughs> I said to my girlfriend, how come you don't close your eyes anymore when we kiss? She said, I got used to the sight of you. <laughs> I caught her in bed with an illusionist. She jumped up, she said, it's not what it looks like. She said, are you jealous? I said, no, he's not my type. <laughs> my, uh, my girlfriend, I, I farted in front of her recently. I know, it's disgusting, but it's a milestone in every relationship. I, I said that was the dog. <laughs> we should never have had that Korean last night. <laughs> she, uh, 
she lit a couple of incense sticks, you know, to perform an exorcism. And, uh, and then she, she opened the window and jumped out. Five minutes, Johnny Armstrong there. Nice one. See man's dick. Proper see his dick. You could, like, you, right, your dick face then, like, it was there, wasn't it? It was like, sir. <laughs> 